What do you think of the TJ Holmes, Amy Roback situation from Good Morning America? Have you been paying attention? Yo, see, here's the thing. I know it might be shocking to you. I don't watch uh, Good Morning America 3. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I have heard about what what is happening here. Yeah. And um, I'm not at all surprised. Okay. Okay. Why? Not, I think this is what happens a lot of times with people who spend an inordinate amount of time together. Like I used to see it with people who work in restaurants all the time. I'm sure you see it with movies. It's like you're spending so much time with these people mm -hmm. and away from your family, your wife, your girlfriend, et cetera. And uh, shit can get sticky out there, man. I get it. I mean, for me, man, I always feel like as a man, you just get more out of, out of a relationship with a woman when you don't try to sleep with her. And as a man, if you're married, I really think you got to respect those vows because, man, boy, when you don't respect, you got, I think when people don't realize when they're making vows, you're not really making them in front of the pastor. You're not making them in front of your wife. You're not making them in front of the church or wherever you got married. You're making them in front of God. Oof. So when you make those vows in front of God, Oof. you know what I mean? And you don't respect those vows and then God taps your jaw. You, you think that's what happened right there? You think it was oh, God that, that, uh, I mean, you, it's, it's, it's proven, right? Mm. Meaning that you didn't respect your vows. You got your jaw tapped. Now both of y'all sitting at home, even though I just mm. think that's something that ABC is doing because um, it's the holiday season. So it makes more sense to have two people go sit down. And then come back in the new year and see what happens. But the interesting thing about situations like this, the reason this is never going to work for uh, anybody, especially men, is because what does that headline say? T.J. Holmes allegedly cheated with several women at ABC. Never fails that the man will be demonized. Whoa, like she was taking advantage of or something. But she could have been doing what that girl was doing to me the other night. She's a married woman, too. It's the same thing in the other situation with the Boston wow. Celtics coach. That's the married woman. They say, oh, you can't wow. even you can't even bring up. The, they, they made Jalen Rose apologize for even asking. How come nobody's having conversations about the married woman? And they say, oh, it's because of the power dynamics and everything else. Well, guess what? These power dynamics are even. TJ Holmes and Amy are both co-hosts. Yet and still, TJ is the one getting demonized the most. He's the one in the headlines. How come there's no headline that says can Amy I, Roback was sleeping with a bunch of people at ABC? Can I be honest with you? I don't even think the power dynamics are even. Talk to me. Women are always in power when it comes to sex. If they're not, it's not consensual. There is yeah. one power consensual player sex. Yes, in, in absolutely, sex. absolutely. Women are always in power, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it can't happen mm -hmm. without her. Mm -hmm. The reason I say consensual sex is the first thing somebody will say when they hear that is, "That's not true." What about people who get sexually assaulted? You oh, know what I mean? Of course, of course. In consensual sex, I agree. So we're assuming this is consensual because they had a relationship. Mm -hmm. So the woman who is the power broker in this relationship agrees to engage into a, in a sexual act. All the man can do is ask when you think about it. As it, long as it's consensual, right. all the man can do is ask. Our, 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 our try by courting, right? You're exactly. courting. You, That's what I meant by yeah, you're, you know I mean? you're dating. You're, you're, you're going out. You're kicking it. You're giving off signs. You know, this woman crossed the line. They Technically, a man can't cheat without a woman making him. They both crossed the line. No, no, <laughs> no, no. They both technically. He's married too, though. So, no, they, no, no, so no. they both crossed the line. But he can't do it without her agreeing. He's got self control. He know he married. No, 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 no. But I, you don't understand what I'm saying. She, if is if it's consensual, yeah. she made the decision. Sure, but it's if, in her control. Sure, but as a married man, if a am woman, I wrong? No, or no. Right here? I'm like, gonna tell you what. No, I'm gonna tell you why he's wrong. I can't go in the nightclub no, unless no. the bouncer let he's me in. in. No, wrong is the right word. He's not. Wrong. Can I go in the nightclub if the bouncer don't let me in? He's he's not wrong. That's a va very valid point. But there's another point to that. If a you woman will get angry if I'm in the nightclub, you let me in. If a beautiful woman walks in here right now, show yeah, stands in front of you, drops all her clothes, mm. and reaches for your penis. Mm. If you let her, mm. that's your fault. You're you know you're married. You know what you should and shouldn't be doing. So you know that old saying: it takes two. I didn't two. say that there's not fault. Yeah. What I'm saying is. A man can't do it without them. A woman can. Nobody's going to say that it's assault. Nobody's going to say it's everything. I get what you're saying. Tries, but, but if a man tries and then the woman pushes away, that guy's assaulting her. If a woman tries, she just failed at hitting on a dude. The woman is the person. She's the bouncer. She's TSA. If a fucking bomb gets on, on a plane, we got to talk to the TSA, right? I think it takes two, man. It takes two to cheat, bro. They're pussy TSA. It takes two to <laughs> cheat. They pussy TSA, bro. <laughs> Hey, well, TSA. well, speaking of TSA, when you walk through that security camera as a mar married man, your wedding ring better go off. At, at, when at, you walk through that goddamn uh, metal detector or whatever mm -hmm. the shit, if, you better make sure your wedding ring go off to remind mm -hmm. you, hey, man, you married. Because mm -hmm. I have not seen a person win in these situations yet. Not no man. 
Not anyway. no went on vacation with her too. That's the foul shit. Like mm. maybe your wife forgives you if you just got your dick sucked in a broom closet or something oh, like that. But not man. a vacation into the woods. Your wife has been waiting to go to the woods with you for years. Now that's the other part too, though, because I don't know if both of them were separated. That's the other part of the story. They're saying that they were both separated oh. from their significant others, but then other people are saying that's not true. So I don't know. But and you're well, right. If they're both separated, then you do whatever the fuck you want to do. But you're right, man. You got to stop treating, uh, stop treating the side like the main, bro. Yeah, Wabi, it, it, I'm not your main wasabi. I'm talking, Sabi, I'm talking go to give the, him a kiss. I'm talking to the go dog. Go give him a kiss. I'm talking to the dog. What do you think Sabi was in another life? Um, mm, that, mm, 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 this with that 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 woman at the bar last night, the woman at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> just looking on you with no consent. You know what I mean? Down. <laughs> that's what you. But that's what you got to do. Back. 